almost like a yeah McGriddle. Hey, I'm Cameron. I'm Clint. We have the new Blake Shelton inspired barbecue pizza. Who's Blake Shelton? He's a country singer. It's got a ton of barbecue sauce on it. It's got cheddar cheese melted on the edges. Okay, I can see that. So kind of like how they did the parmesan, they went cheddar on this one. And it's just got a ton of barbecue sauce and lots of meats, no veggies. You can add veggies when it's extra money. By looking at the crust here, I would guess this is a Red Baron pizza. Uh, except for the cheddar on the edges. Yeah. So, let's go ahead and try it. Side deal. That's a weird barbecue sauce. It's a really thin barbecue sauce. It's yeah. almost like maple-y. Maple-y, like maybe cinnamon in it. it. Tastes like something that should go on pancakes, not meat and cheese. Kind of tastes like breakfast to me. That's weird. Not a lot of meat on here, but it's just lost. It's nothing more than texture behind the barbecue sauce. Yeah, you get a little bit of sausage flavor, but it's like dipping your sauce in your maple syrup. I've had barbecue pop sauce on pizza, but this isn't the way that I'd like it. Mm -hmm. I want the barbecue sauce to complement the flavors and work together instead of just be the whole flavor. Yeah. So instead of a barbecue drizzle, this is a smattering of barbecue sauce. It is. It's everywhere. It's like they just... I right, just keep it on. This stuff's probably not very good, so they got to cover up the flavor somehow. Try just the sausage. It tastes like breakfast sausage. It does taste like breakfast sausage. If you like uh, dipping your sausage in maple syrup, this is like, this Blake Smokehouse is your breakfast pizza. So now we've got this uh, cheddar crust to try. I definitely like that it's got cheddar cheese on it. It's an improvement, but it's, it's not much of an improvement. I don't see how it complements this pizza. On a scale of 1 to 37, 12 out of 37. 16 out of 37. Thanks for tuning in to the 2 Minute Reviews.